Welcome, Barry. Um, what are we looking at here? Um, well, this is a XK6 board. Uh, it, it consists of uh, network connections, our Gemini network. It, connect, it consists of Opteron processors with their associated DDR3 memory. Each Opteron processor has four channels of DDR3 memory. And then connected to each Opteron is an NVIDIA X2090 uh, GPU accelerator. So here you see four nodes. So the board actually hosts four separate compute nodes, each one with one Opteron and one NVIDIA. Uh, and so this is our high performance uh, XK6 blade. And then we stack these blades into our cabinets and create our systems, you know, our scalable systems. So what was the objective of the way you packaged this? Was it to get the most density of GPUs with a high-speed interconnect to the uh, AMD, the ratio? What, what was the thinking? Well, it, it, it was a mix of things. We have the XE6 that's also on display. Uh, the XE6, uh, we've sold roughly seven petaflops of, uh, of XE6 um, over the last year and a half uh, since we released it last summer. And the XE6 is, um, um, this was made to be compatible with that cabinet and backplane. So you can actually mix and match the compute blades of the XE6 and the XK6. So, so uh, that is a big advantage. It, it allows our current customers to utilize this technology and fit it right into their infrastructure. Or you can build a system entirely of XK6. So it, it really gives a lot of flexibility to the customer. Tell me more about the Gemini, because that seems to be the secret sauce here. Am I right? Well, it certainly is the secret sauce for large, scalable systems. Uh, the Gemini uh, allows us to have uh, a low latency network for very busy networks. So m most networks, uh, you know, including the Gemini, have a point-to-point -point latency of about 1 to 1.5 microseconds. What really matters is when you load up the system and you have hundreds of thousands, even millions of messages uh, uh, running across the network, what happens to the latency? So with the Gemini, even when you have a fully loaded system, the latency typically rises to about three, three and a half microseconds for messages that are, that are moving across the system. And with uh, many of the other networks out there, the latency jumps much higher than that, orders of magnitude higher in terms of uh, full loaded latency. So what, what kind of a uh, topology we're talking? Is this a torus or? Yes, uh, uh, Cray uh, uses a 3D torus technology, uh, topology with our Gemini network. Uh, this is a, a nice, efficient topology. It allows for good communication patterns and uh, allows for um, um, actually good resiliency in the network. So our Gemini is actually a mix of a router and the NIC. It's all combined in a single chip. So we have no external net, uh, no external switch cabinets in our systems. The switch and the NIC are all on each blade of the system. So it allows for very uh, highly dense systems, very efficient systems uh, to be built. We don't have to have a set of uh, second layer switches like an InfiniBand network would have to have external devices that, that are all cabled up to the compute. Now, oh. What are the advantages? I mean, you, you got this thing tightly packaged, right? And you've got you've got the 3D tours. One of the criticisms of the GPUs is that they're they got to go over the PCI bus, right? You got to move data over that, and that's a bottleneck. Well, how, how is this helping to mitigate that when you go massive scale? Well, uh, there are a couple of issues. I mean, we do use PCI to connect yeah. from the Opteron to the uh, the NVIDIA. Yeah. So, in terms of how to use an accelerator. That's just the limitation of the technology today. You can't overcome that. Yes. But what you have to overcome is actually the programmability. So what Cray does is we overlay on this a software stack that is the same OS and our same tested software stack that we have on our XE6. In, so that gives us a range of compilers and programming methods that you can use on this system to be more efficient more quickly. I mean, the biggest, the biggest challenge today with accelerators is how much time is spent programming those accelerators, how much uh, manpower and effort goes into changing code, modifying code. So with this, we, we provide uh, PGI compilers, which have directives that simplify the use of the GPUs. We provide CUDA, uh, which allows very, very um, uh, 
uh, high performance, but, but it takes a lot of programming to, to make CUDA changes to applications. And we provide the Cray compiler that now uh, we're implementing GPU um, features into our Cray compiler, directives-based features, so again, you don't have to spend thousands of man hours uh, uh, changing your codes. And what we found is actually when you modify those codes to work more efficiently with the Cray compiler on the Opteron and the NVIDIA, the, the same code runs faster on our XE6 compute blades where you're just using the, uh, the Opterons alone. So all the code modifications actually benefit you on both types of compute nodes. So um, how many of these in a rack and how, how high does this thing scale? Yes. So we can fit 24 of these compute blades in a single rack. Uh, we also have an I.O. blade that we don't show here, uh, and we use those to connect to the outside world, to put in uh, fiber channel or InfiniBand or gigabit ethernet cards, and those are our portals uh, out of which um, you know, we do I.O. in and out of the system to the, to the storage devices. We use the Lustre file systems typically on, the, on our systems to do high bandwidth parallel uh, I.O. into the Cray systems. I think I saw something this could scale to 50 petaflops. Uh, how many racks would that be? Uh, that would probably be around 300 to 350 racks, uh, somewhere around there, with the future uh, NVIDIA uh, GPUs. So the, the 50 number, uh, th this blade is actually meant to upgrade to future NVIDIA GPUs. And, and you can do a field upgrade where you basically remove these units and insert the next generation of the NVIDIA GPU, and you can uh, you can boost the accelerator performance. Well, thanks, Barry. This is this is very exciting. I saw one of your first wins was what in Switzerland. Is that correct? Uh, that's right. At uh, one of our key customers in Switzerland, uh, CSCS, uh, they um, are actually a great customer. They do lots of uh, excellent work on new technologies. In fact. In fact, they often get our early systems into their uh, data center and they allow their users who are very experienced to, uh, to really uh, test out the hardware and, and software that's built on the systems.